Australia. The wind's not too bad. It is, it is a bit breezy here, but um, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Well, we are on the River Medway. Um, this is a little venue called well, Roman Way. I mean, that's that's Roman Way over there, where you can see them old railings. Um, where's my finger? Yeah, over there. Don't mind focus. Yeah, that's Roman Way over there. As you can see, the tide's miles away. Um, since I was here last, which was probably I don't know a good couple of years ago, I built all these new houses, um, which has gained us access all the way along here, and then now onto this wooded area, half area. So it means you can fish that little bit earlier, and you can fish that little bit longer. As you can see that bank, um, the tide's coming in. It's got to come up and over the top of that bank over there, and then it sort of goes up and over. Um, once it's over the bank, it comes in pretty quick, but um, it just takes the time to go over there. But right in front of me is the, the gully. Now this this gully's always been here and it follows it all the way up there. And all the way up there. Now um, I've heard people say that, that on, on a nice clear day when the, when the weather when the water's completely flat calm like glass, because up here it, 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 it might nine times out of ten it is because there's not much wind up, up this way. Um they reckon you can see the flounders swimming up the channel. So I mean I've I'm fishing right at the beginning of it. I'm gonna stick both of my rods in that little hole. Don't need to cast far. Um, so yeah, that's that's today's plan. Um, so yeah, flounders on the agenda. Um, I've had another cod fishing, border cod fishing. <laughs> um, no, I will be back as soon as I uh, as soon as I've got a bit of time. Tides were back all back to front this week, and um, uh, to be honest, I fancied a, a bit of time off the beach, so I thought I'll give it I'll give it a go on the river. Um, there's plenty of whiting in the river now, um, and they're a lot they're a lot better sizes than what they're getting down the coast so it's, if, if you like fishing for white and it's worth trying the rivers because they just they just seem to get the bigger ones up there um but as you know i don't like white so i'm fishing for flounders um i'm gonna get my gear set up get my rod set up because i've still got a bit of time yet and then i'll uh, i'll bring it back and i'll show you the uh, rigs and bait and that because bait's a bit different today so yeah see you in a bit Right then guys, I brought you back. Um, oh, I am really sorry about the wind, um, but yeah, that's fishing. There's not a lot I can do with it. Right, rigs and bait. <clears throat> Some blacks I pumped the other day that are not in the best of condition because I didn't dry them out on the way home. So they didn't really last very well. They're small as well. Um, yeah, they are pretty, pretty pants, but they'll do the job for the day. So blacks and the other bait is maddies, or some people call them um, harbour rag. Some people call them reds. Down on the south coast, I'm sure they call them reds. Um, I call them maddies. Um, dug them this morning out of the River Medway. Um, there's plenty of places, to be fair, you can you can dig these all over the country. Um, in estuaries and beaches and, uh, yeah. I mean, it's nice if you can find them in a patch where there's a few, where, where there's a, like, where they're in good numbers, but yeah, pretty much most of the way along the River Medway, there's places you can dig. If you've never done it before, don't don't just go out and just just go and find some mud because it could be you could be in a dangerous place. It could be soft mud. You've got to know really where where to go, but they are everywhere. If that makes sense, you just need to find the safe places to dig. Um, so the way I'm baiting up is um, rig I've got is just a two act as 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 I'm using it. It's a two flapper, but it's the body of a two loop rig. I've just I've just taken all the all the bits off. So I've got 15 pound snoods. Um, Black lug on a saltwater champion hook, um, size three, and then just some uh, sea glow beads on the top, just as a bait stop, and a bit of attractant really. They're the day glow ones. There was no point in putting the luminous ones on because it's daylight. So, yeah, and that is I can't. <laughs> it's sorry, guys. If we're not focusing right, it's because I've got a new phone and I'm still quite not sure how to use it. But um, yeah, well, there's the baits. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get them out there now and. Uh, and then set the other rod up. The other rod's going to be set up pretty much the same way um, as this. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll bring you back if I find some fish in a bit. Right then, guys, I brought you back. Um, as you can see, look, that that channel's filling up nicely now, um, and that's what I mean. People reckon they can see the fish swimming up that channel. Um, if you look further on, you can see where the water goes all nice and flat, calm, where the wind's not on it up there. So uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I've got both rods out. I did, I did change my mind actually, the, the continental rod is literally just in that hole where I showed you earlier when we first started um, and the bigger rod, the, the uh, what we've got today, the 133, I've just stuck a turp loop rig on that with just lug, just straight blacks um, and just cast it towards that boat over there. Um, over there, 
yeah, over there. But while I've got you here, um, now most of you probably do because obviously my channel is quite small in comparison. But I just want to say congratulations to, to the fish locker on um, on getting his million views on his video, the the foraging video. Oh, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. He, he said he was on something like 10,000 subscribers. A week later, he's up to 25,000 subscribers in a week with a million views on one of his videos. It's, uh, hats off to you, mate. You've, you've absolutely smashed it. Fair play, yeah. And uh, if, if it's anything like this week's video, it's, it's going to be the same, I think. Because, I mean, that's the, the views on that one is just going up and up and up and up and up. And to be fair, mate, you deserve it. So um, if, if any of you haven't checked out the Fish Locker, um, the channel's fantastic. It really is. Um, he catches a lot of fish. Um, he knows his stuff. And, yeah, it's, 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 yeah they're, they're, they're good, fun videos to watch. There's, um, there's, there's not too much talking about crap, if you like. It's more just getting on with the fishing. Rigs, bait, fish, job done. Um, so yeah, again, congratulations, bud. Um, and I hope, we, I hope we carries on for you. Anyway, let's have a little walk around here, see if there's anything around here we can find. Um, I'm not too worried about all these snags down here because I'm up quite high. I should be able to just lift them up and over the top. But I've got to say, lads, I've, um, years and years and years ago, I fished up right on this corner here. Year, oh, quite well, I was a kid. Um, and I can't, I think, back up there, we had to jump the fence. Me and a mate, um, yeah, we jumped the fence. But I'm sure through all these woods, you can get, these woods will lead you to a, a somewhere. Um, and I'm sure I've walked through them before, but oh, I can't remember when. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a point here that takes you, obviously, this is like a bit of a, a big inlet round up onto the medway there whereas this bit well, you're facing is probably where it's the main stretch we're a, we're a long way up though to be fair we are a long way up i mean that bridge over there that's the m2 bridge the motorway bridge um and then further on you're going up towards um cuxton and snodland and places like that but um yeah what a tides tides obviously come up and over look at this Wow, erosion at its best, look. Sorry about the wind. I don't want to stray too far from my rods because I'll come out of the woods and grab my gear. But yeah, um, I would go down there, but it looks like I'm going to break my ankle. Yeah, got a little bit of a beach. Madness. Yeah, and then they say there's the main stretch of the medway. You can see the cut, you can see the tide run actually. You can, you can see in between the two white lines, that'll be where the tide's pulling it strongest. Um, yeah. Um, right, now, hopefully, here come the excuses. <laughs> if you live in England, you would know that we've had a lot of rain the last few days, a hell of a lot of rain. Now this being a river, and the freshwater part of this river is uh, just a couple of miles that way, um, all of that water is gonna end up in the river and it's gotta go somewhere this way um, so uh, there's probably going to be quite a bit of fresh water in the river at the minute um, which isn't brilliant for me although the flounders don't mind a bit of uh, a bit of fresh water so hopefully fingers crossed it's still a bit early for them as well it's not really that cold enough and I'm gonna have problems with crabs but um, yeah well I'll stop with the excuses now and hopefully we, we'll, uh, we'll see a fish all right I'll, uh, I'll bring you back Brought you back quickly, just playing with my new phone really. This is the new uh, Wowie 30 Pro and it's got a uh, like dual view. So as you can see that you can see that boat right in front of you and then on the other side you can see how far away it really is. It's um it's a brilliant bit of kit this phone. I'll uh, I'll leave a link in the description actually so you can um you can see how oh, there it goes, it's focused now. This is, I mean that's well, you can see how far it is. That's a 15 times the zoom. And it's now it's focused. It's bloody clear. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, yeah, there's still no fish report. Um, let me zoom back out of that. So it's back, brought me back into normal. So it's still... Um, tides, tides on, it's well on its way in now. It's come up, sit the wall up, up on the other side. As you can see, if it focuses... Um, yeah, I'm getting, basically getting stripped by crabs, but I mean, I knew that was going to happen anyway. I mean, I could pop the baits up, but that sort of, let me, yeah, I could pop the baits up, but that sort of, um, sort of rods. 
that would sort of defeat the object because I'm fishing for flatfish and they're on the bottom so I don't really want to pop the baits up if that makes sense um, but yeah other than that this is not a little something to do so <sighs> see if I can zoom back in on that boat again I know you don't really care about me playing with my camera guys but I'm learning and all the time I'm recording I might as well try it with this yeah that's great but you can see how far away on on this screen how much it how far it really is uh, I've lost it and there it is so yeah and that's where it really is for a mobile phone it's, it's I think it's great absolutely fantastic right I'll bring it back and get some fish I'll stop pissing about now right guys I brought you back this is my problem this is the problem we have today yep how are my little tiny maddies going to compete with that they're not um, that was uh, that was probably out for about f no, f four maybe five minutes and uh, what's that do no wrong way sorry lads oh what's going on yeah no that's better um, yeah just ain't got no chance no, the bait has got no chance and neither of the fish so I mean it's coming up to oh I water in about half an hour so I'm probably going to give it about half hour 40 minutes after I water and then probably call it um, this one's a complete blank not even a whiting not even a whiting mind you I'm not too worried big old male crab Right, well, I'm gonna get this bait up, get back out there, and uh, fish her after the last hour. Try and show you guys, try, try and show you guys a fish in a bit. Right, well, that was pretty pants. Um, yeah, total blank. I got the ump with it in the end, and um, I went home. And uh, I'm now down the Riverside Country Park in River Medway, taking Betsy for her first ever walk. She had her jabs down last week, so she's now allowed out to mix and mess with the other dogs. And so far. She seems to be enjoying it. Bet, come on. She's been playing with all the other dogs that walk past and uh, sniffing absolutely everything. So hopefully, if we get a nice calm day and I'm only fishing local, she's still a little bit little to end up down on Dungeness Beach with me, but see, um, she'll be coming fishing with us soon. Well, again, sorry it's a blank, but thanks for watching. Try not to dislike it too much, people. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Laters.